<laughs> so, um, I want to show you something on my screen. I did a video earlier this morning, around what, about three hours ago, like six o'clock in the morning. This is the one I'm filming right now. This on this next page I'm going to click to. Ah, uh -uh. see where it says publishing on the middle of the screen. This is on another page. This video has been publishing for hours. Let me go back to where I'm at. This page. I'm not exaggerating this shit. I haven't played the keyboard on the last video. I can't be doing this shit over and over. keyboard again like I was doing last time but through this verse of this conversation do y'all really want to talk about what I talked about last time the real AIX don't do that I want to talk about music now and they pulled my video okay the video that was taken off of YouTube will be uploaded to Tube Watcher. Remember my Tube Watcher page where I put the video that was banned last time from YouTube up? Now, last time they had a legitimate right to ban the video. This time, I had to look at, I had to look at Lady Gaga's body, ass and crotch and booty area. I mean, I was just all up in her booty and all, all up in the, in the chest and all, you know, all in there. I didn't, I didn't, yeah, you know. I didn't want to go there, but come on, man. You know, the body looked good, but the face is like, Ugh. So let me finish what I'm saying. I complained about how everybody talks about the oil in the water. I complained about that, didn't I? I spoke eloquently again. Seems like every time I mention. Uh, Johannes Meserly and the Oscar Grant thing every time I mention that video don't go you know I was glad he did get convicted somewhat but like I said and again and again this little time he's sitting in jail is so they can say when they get there in November look your honor he's been in jail all this time he has a family he's just got a child Please, have some lingers for this man who served the public and shot this nigga in cold blood. Please, have some forgiveness and send him home to his family. He spent all this time in jail for killing a man who lay down on the ground, but his intentions wasn't to kill him, but to torture him. I said something like that. I think I did. If not, I just did. I can't let my videos go to the limit because that's when they don't upload. They don't finish processing. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the other page and see if it's finished. This page that we're on now. The other page. It's still publishing. Three hours later, it's still publishing. I guess they're gonna make a full-length movie of it that way. So, um, then like I said, everybody's blaming Obama for the oil. Not true. Um, what else? California's about to get a new governor. And something just happened. Two things. Is that something on the screen? It's This video might not make it. So, um, I don't know. When I do these, um, webcam uploads, it's like a crap.
back to you. It's like, maybe it'll upload, maybe it won't. I don't read a fucking script. If I was fucking Wesley Snipes or somebody, I could read the piece of paper. Oh, I've got to do it again. I, I don't... I'm not an actor. I'm not Chris Crocker. You know, I mean, I'm not, you know, you know, Sergeant Willie Pete. You know, I'm not, I'm not those guys who read scripts. You know, call it talk. It's not talk when you, you know, you, I'm not acting. This is it. This is shit. You can even hear the NFL channel in the background. Come on. For real. I don't want to bother my location though. So let's everything we go through nowadays is bullshit. I've tried not to watch the news because it gets dumb. Right? Like the stocks are falling because the economy is slowing down. The recession is slowing down. Everything is slowing down. The recovery is slowing down slowing down. I think things are going to go bad in the stock markets because things aren't slowing. I ain't got no money in fucking stock markets. Rich people don't give a fuck about me. Rich people don't give a fuck about you. What is a rich person? A rich person is somebody who don't have to pay for a meal. A rich person is somebody who don't have to pay for a hotel room. Don't have to pay for airplane flight. Don't have to pay for anything. Which person that guys jump out and get in the car? You're driving too slow. Can you turn on the AC? A rich person, or the kind of person I'm talking about, is not somebody who has to look at a price tag when they walk in the store. You know what I'm saying? We're regular people. Mega super rich. Don't have to stand in line. Could you get somebody to get the plane here? I need to get back to LA. Okay, wait thou. And plane whisking by. No line. Ain't no line when you got your own plane. Fuck you waiting in line to check a fucking bag flow. So look. I'm just trying to do my thing. I don't like the way they do these videos now when you guarantee know they're monitored and so if I have to start filming things first before I put them on YouTube then I'll be like every other person on YouTube you see a video once a week nobody likes to edit but when you do it on a video camera you got program you have access yeah. with that access you edit shit you want to have a bird fly through it ain't no bird in the room bird will fly right through you be like damn what the fuck is this shit are you doing that's what you're going to start seeing in my videos you're going to start seeing me in this exact same spot and a fucking fish go across the fucking my friend's face and shit. Or clouds and shit. Lightning bolts. <laughs> you hear music in the background. You'll see a show. Just like the one that they took off the air. They cut it and bled it out. And then they let it go. I show her ass and titties on YouTube. My video gotta go. I'm not selling albums. I'm not selling uh, wolf tickets, if you know what one is. Oh, look, 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 this is for the people who understand what I'm saying right now. Why is it whenever there is some quote unquote street slang language, it fucking infiltrates regular fucking language? What the fuck is up with that? I can make up a word right now, and if I get famous next year, it will be in a dictionary five years from now. Made up some bullshit. I'm tired of the world turning E-fucking-bonic on me. I don't speak like that. 
Every other word ain't out my out my mouth ain't nigga man. Y'all motherfucking niggas man, son of a bitch man, that nigga man. I don't talk like that. I don't carry myself like that. Run around those people, I might drop a couple heads by man, y'all niggas trip. Nigga cool down. That nigga wrong. But I'm not nigga 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 bop bop that nigga nigga black black mother nigga. I'm not that person. I'm tired of society going in that direction. That's the direction I'm running from. You see what I'm saying? I'm running from that direction in which society is going into. I am running from that shit that society is running into. I'm running from the same shit that's going now, now. <laughs> But don't nobody want that. Nobody, nobody who's in my position want to sit back and see society go in a direction. I just left. I left the bullshit and mayhem. What the fuck? I'm too old for that shit. That's the crux of this video. Bullshit. Mayhem. Whatever is stupid and ignorant in the black world, that shit be fucking pop in public. And like, damn, white people act like that now? What the fuck? Black people don't act like that no more. I'm tired of seeing it in commercials. I'm tired of seeing it on TV. Oh, yeah. A little serious commercial. Then you see these one commercial. It's a commercial about child, child, uh, you know, not having a baby, birth control. Black lady's like, I got two kids. I don't want to. I don't want to see shit like that. It's not fucking appealing to my eyes. That does not make me want to buy your fucking product. Damn. Black people don't want to have kids. Look at this shit. She got two kids. They got a house and everything. Oh, I can't have... I don't want another kid. They fucking all up in the grocery store. And then you see, like I said, the Sears commercial. They're trying to sell washers. And white dudes like, yeah. I'm tired of seeing the white people be hippity-hoppity. <coughs> and black people in commercial being belittled. <coughs> the undertow bullshit is fucking stupid. It's fucking dumb. I want you to look close at these commercials. I'm gonna, when I see them again, I'm gonna bring them all up. But I know as close as I get to the 15 minute line, the less likely this video won't go up. So you've been tubed. And it's not about black and white. It's about the perception of black and white. And let that be heard and let that be told and let that not be cut off of this video. You've been tubed again, twice in one video. Shit, how that fucking happened?